So what's up guys hope you are doing well I'm Mesh from TechMesh and today I'm going to show you that how you can install Windows 11 on your virtual box. This would be a really interesting video because in Windows 11 there is generally required you to have TPM enabled on your device but we know that in virtual box there is no TPM available so I will show you that how you can bypass this method and how you can easily install Windows 11 in your virtual box working perfectly so before going to start the video don't forget to hit the like button also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so let's get started shall we so at first what you need to have is after installing your virtual box then you need to install virtual box extension pack so how you can do that at first just go to your virtual box manager and then just click on this help icon and then click on about virtual box from here just know your current virtual box version for my case you can see that my version is 7.0 so your could be much more updated or even older no problem okay so then what you need to do is just go to your browser and then just search for virtual box and then just press on enter and now just go to virtualbox.org their official website now here just click on downloads in downloads here scroll down so here you can see that virtualbox extension pack this is virtualbox 7.0 so if you have latest version then you would find the virtualbox extension pack here so then just click on here all supported platform and the extension pack will be downloaded so if you have older version of virtualbox then just scroll down a bit and here you can see virtualbox older builds so just click on here and then here select your appropriate version so for example if your version is version 6.1 then just click on here so here you can see that virtualbox 6.1.42 and if you just scroll down a bit here you can see extension pack so if you just click on here then your extension pack would be downloaded okay so now what you need to do is you need to install this extension pack so just double click on it and install it like any other software okay so you can see here just click on install and then here you scroll down and click on agree and then press yes so after downloading and installing the extension pack then you need to download windows 11 iso file so just go to your browser again and now search for download windows 11 download windows 11 and then just press on enter and then just go to microsoft website microsoft.com software download windows 11 then you scroll down and you need to go to download windows 11 dix image iso for 64 devices so here just click on select download and then select windows 11 multi edition iso for 64 devices and then just click on download so now just wait for a bit and then just here you need to select the product language so let's select english and then just click on confirm and now just click on 64 bit download and now just wait for a bit i will be back after my download has been completed okay so after downloading the windows 11 then what you need to do is just go to your virtual manager and now we need to install our windows 11 on our virtual manager so here just click on this new icon and here just name it as for example windows 11 okay and now here you need to select click on this version and then here select windows 11 64 bit and also here you need to select the folder for virtual box so let me just click on this folder icon and then click on others and let me choose a suitable version for my device let's say this one and now let's also select a folder let's create a new one here let's name it vm and now just click on select folder and now here you can see iso image so just click on here and then just click on others and now you need to go to your downloaded iso for windows 11 so here you can see this is my iso after clicking on it then just click on open so then just click on skip unattended installation and then just click on next so here you need to select your memory so select at least 4 gb memory 
and then in processor just at least select two cores and also enable EFI and then just click on next and now here in virtual hard disk try to give it at least 64 GB okay so the more the better and then just click on next and now here you can see the summary so just click on finish okay so now just click on start here and here you can see power up powering virtual machine so just wait for a bit and now here you can see that our virtual machine is opening so just here press enter and now let me just give it on full screen so here at first what you need to do is we need to just go to our command prompt and then we need to go to our registry and type some commands so that we can bypass our tpm so to do that press on the shift and f10 at the same time and if you are in laptop then try shift and f10 if it doesn't work then try shift fn and f10 okay so after coming to your command from cmd then here you need to type reg edit r e g e d i t reg edit and then press enter and now your registry editor will open so in your registry editor just click on local machine then in your local machine just go to systems in your system just go to setup and just right click on your setup and then just click on new and select key and now we need to name it lab config just type as i am typing lab and then config and then just press enter now just click on this lab config now here in the empty space you need to just right click on here and then here just click on new and now click on dur 32 bit and now here we need to type bypass tpm check tpm check just type as i am typing exactly type the words as i am typing and then just press on enter we need to create additional three files like this one right click on here and then click on new then click on dur 32 bit and now you need to type bypass secure boot type bypass secure boot check and then press on enter again right click and then click on new and click on dur 32 bit and now type bypass ram check and then press on enter and again right click and click on new and click on dur and then type bypass cpu check and press on enter so after creating these four files then just click on each of them change the value to 1 and click on ok do the same for all the four files that we have just created ok now our work of registry is completed now we can just close our registry editor so just close everything and now let's begin our windows 11 installation so just click on next and then just click on install now and here just click on i don't have a product key and then here just click on windows 11 pro and click on next and just click on i accept and click on next and here just click on custom install windows only and here just click on new and click on apply and then just click on next and now just wait for a bit for the windows installation to complete now here we can see that it is saying windows need to restart to continue so just wait for a bit after restart your virtual box will boot into your windows 11 now here you need to select your right country or region okay then just press on yes and then just select on your keyboard method and press on yes then just click on skip now here you need to name your device so let's name it like vm and then just click on next now select how would you like to set up for me let's select set up for personal use then click on next and now it's just like basic microsoft setup so just click on next now if you don't want to add your microsoft account then i will show you a simple method to bypass your microsoft account which is like let's just put anything random email okay so just let's say and random email and then just click on next and now just put a wrong password and then just click on sign in and here you can see it is saying something went wrong so just now click on next now we can add our local name let's put it vm 
windows 11 and then just click on next and now let's put a password and then just click on next let's confirm it again and click on next so now just add your security questions here and now just click on next and just click on next and next for everything so now we can see that our virtual box is successfully logged in into our windows 11 so that's it that's how you can install windows 11 on your virtual box without any problem so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from tech mesh and i'm signing out